slap, whoa, whoa. Red, red light, green light, it don't matter, man, we go, go. Slap, whoa, whoa. Make that bitch go low, go. Spin that round and slow, go. Red, red light, green light, it don't matter, man, we go, go, go. Tell them that it's black on back Told Tris that I've had enough of sitting in the background back Making money, making moves, making money in the snooze Dirty money that I started in a crack house Told them before that I am the beast Compete with the lyrics, man, I'll make you tap out Never back down, don't last round I attack now, I'ma keep going till I blacked out Silence said that it's time to speak up Sorcerer shit, man, you know that we inbound It's been a while since I wigged out Full speed, turn around, rebuild the compound She walked in and she limped out She was talking and she dick mouth I was lost for a bit and I figured it out They're trying to fill up the cups as it's tippling out Made a wish to a wishing well Driving Teslas, no need for manual Yeah, sipping on my Sammy girl Yeah, magic spell New universe, we all parallel New spice if you couldn't tell But still two pints and some crisp as well It's like, yeah. whoa, whoa Make that bitch go low, co Spin that round in slow, mo Spin that round in slow, mo Red, red, red light, green light It don't matter, man, we go, go, go Chop, chop, welcome to the dojo Oh no, oh no I am the rap coach, hat low Portable stews in the pack, bro Loading on the map, pro Anywhere that we go, always get a reload Even the Eskimos know that we are cold Calm, collected, more tranquilo Pull up to the function in a tuxedo Drum cappuccino, we don't wear chinos Pull up with Latinos, rinse the casinos All on black like an emo Cashed out with a few more zeros Zeros, magic spell Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you want to get some fantastic mocap motion at the click of a button from just any single video you're going to want to watch this tutorial so without further ado let's go ahead with the tutorial so what you want to do is you just want to go on to go onto the internet and you want to just literally go on to plask.ai so that's plask.ai um, I'll leave a link in the description below and you want to sign up for this website and once you've signed up and you've logged in you just want to go over to this little panel here and click launch Plask. Now that's going to take you to a whole new screen and this is basically the workspace that we're going to now work from and we're going to extract that motion from any video and we're going to turn it into motion that you can put on your 3D avatar. So we're going to want to load up a video in here now. To do that we're going to go to library um, we'll just go to select files and I've got this video that I recorded um, earlier so we'll just use this video hit confirm so that's going to load up these motions now that might take a few seconds and once that's done you just you might want to just play that back uh, just to kind of watch that back and uh, see what you've actually got but as you can see here this is the video that we're going to be using to take the motion directly from this video and put it onto our 3d avatar so we won't watch all of that, we'll just then hit extract motion and we'll, we'll, we'll save that as wrap and we'll just hit OK. Now that can take up to 13 minutes as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this and we'll get straight to when it's been extracted. And once that's done, you'll then see in this little section here on the left, it says wrap and that's the motion that we've now just rendered right out of that video footage. So all we do next is we click on that and just drag that up to mannequin at the top here, mannequin.glb. Drag that on, let it go, and you'll get this screen here that says it can take up to three minutes. So that's just now importing all that motion onto this mannequin. And that will then place your avatar directly in this screen. Now all the motion's been placed on the avatar now, so what you just need to do is go down here to your frame section and you just want to um, expand that to about maybe 3000 frames or however long your animation is and that will just expand as you saw down there on the timeline and just give you enough room to play out that whole animation. Now once you hit play you'll start to see that footage you rendered out has now began to play on the avatar. So you know this is amazing guys, this is game changing. This is a way that you can do any motion in video and you can actually now convert that motion directly to RL motion and place it on your characters in iClone. It's game changing guys, you no longer need a mocap. This is the new mocap. You can get it right from your video footage and you will get amazing results as you can see here. So the next step and very important step is now we're going to export this motion out of the Plask and we're going to then put it into 3ds Max. So I'll just hit stop and we'll just go on our mannequin and we'll right click 
and we'll just go to export. And then what we want to do is here, we just want to get the wrap motion and we want to do it in FBX format. And we'll just hit export and that will take a few minutes to export that motion out. And now that motion has rendered out and you can see that's gone here in my download. So I'll just right click on that and go show in folder and that will then come up here. Now what we want to do next is we want to open up 3ds Max. And this is a very important next step now, guys, because what we do need is we need the mannequin. Now, this step's very important, guys, because you're going to need to use the download link below to actually download the mannequin that you need to then put in 3ds Max and put this motion on to then convert to RL Motion to use an iClone. So if you just use the link below, that will take you straight to the page where you can download the mannequin. And um, I'll just load up my mannequin that I've got, which I got earlier from the website. So we'll just load that up now and we'll just load up this mannequin here. So it's called the Plask Mocap Mannequin. You can get it from the link below. And once you've loaded that up, what you do next, very simple from here on out, guys, you've got this little tab here, as you can see, which is your animation and motion library. You just wanna simply go back to your downloads where you saved the earlier motion from Plask and you just drag and drop that on there. And in this section, you just wanna hit okay. That will now import all that motion directly onto this avatar. And if we just go down here, click on that, you'll then see that now will then play that motion out. So you can see that's the that's the motion that we got from the video directly on the avatar. So brilliant. This is this is game changing, guys. And we've just got one more step to get that from here into iClone, and that will be us done. So what we want to do in in order to do that, you just want to go down here and you want to click Add to Perform. Now, as you can see, that will bring in your performance editor down here. That will bring a little pop up and you just want to rename that motion wrap or whatever you want to name the motion that you're rendering out. You just want to rename that. And once that's been renamed, you can then go up here to this little section here and you just want to hit on the export. I believe it is this one. Click on export and then you don't want to have this ticked. So export geometry, you want to turn off and you want to keep that off. Very important guys. And down here, you just want to hit export animation. And up here, you just want to make sure you've got your target version. So we'll click iClone 8. And then you just want to hit export and just make sure animation is ticked. And then we'll just export that to the desktop. Now, once that's exported, you can close everything down. We can open up iClone and we can then go and grab that motion that we just exported from the desktop. So if I just go to my desktop, that's the motion right there. We can just drag and drop and that will now drag and drop onto our character. So it just retargets all the motion and um, once that's all done converting, you know, we're going to see some amazing results, guys. And, you know, a phenomenal way to get some motion going without using a mocap uh, mocap suit. So as you can see now, the motion's gone on the character. So when we just go down in time, and we just need to fix that motion. There is a bit of movement here. So we'll just, we'll just break that. We'll delete this clip here. And then we'll just drag this to the beginning. And then we'll just reposition the avatar. So we'll just bring him here. And you'll see guys, as soon as I hit play, that motion will then start to transcend into that character. As you can see, you know, this is game changing. Honestly, I can't stress it enough how game changing this is. This really means you can record any motion from your iPhone and you can put it straight onto your characters in iClone 8. No need for a mocap suit, no need for any of that. And that, my friends, is the easy way to mocap any video and get it straight into iClone, straight working and, you know, getting some amazing, amazing results. You know, really, really, really amazing, guys. Honestly, this is game changing. And when I found out about this, you know, I've been doing most of my work exactly like this. It's so quick and so easy to do. And you can mocap any movement just film yourself, 
make a quick self tape, make sure you film your whole body and then just load it up in Plask and you can take the motion directly out of that and load it straight onto iClone. It's amazing guys, it really is game changing and I really hope that tutorial helps. Remember to use the links below to download the Plask mannequin and also the link to the Plask website is down below too. Really hope that helps you get creative and hopefully see you again soon for another tutorial.